Basically, the Bharatiya Janata Party and the Trinamool Congress are now at loggerheads over the Panchayat election showdown. There's no end to this political war. It may look only between BJP and TMC, but other parties are also all guns blazing at the TMC too. Two more political workers died in separate incidents of violence and Bengal Governor C.V. Anand the Bose on Monday called for a complete end to the violence within 48 hours saying, and I am quoting the governor's office here, political holy with the human blood has to end. Now, Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee is accusing the BJP of employing divisive politics first to destroy Jammu and Kashmir and then the northeastern state of Manipur. She has said that the BJP was now after Bengal and is making endless effort to promote allegedly secessionist groups in the state. Mamta is accusing the BJP of instigating violence in the northern and southern parts of Bengal for their political gains. My visit to the field has convinced me that there is violence in certain pockets in West Bengal. There is the manifestation of what is that may be called the politics of murder, the politics of intimidation, the politics of muscle flexing. <laughs> Who is responsible for this is not my priority now. My priority is the fact that violence exists, people in some pockets at least are scared of the goons and the lawbreakers. That is a fact. Actually now, BJP, Congress, CPM, they have understood that they are going to lose the game. Now, we don't need to put some bombs, some explosives in some areas. Why? Why should we? The game is made, the checkmate. Srinamul has won the Panchayat election. These are all the conspiracy hatching by the, being hatched by BJP and other parties.